Hello, it's Miss Tamez. I'm going to do lesson 1-2 now. Um, this is linearity, intercepts, and symmetry, and it is page 13 of your workbook. Okay, so let's go through vocabulary first. Let me move my mouse out of the way. Linear function, linear equation. So a function is a straight line. That is a function. This is a function. A vertical line is not a function. A function is a vertical line. Okay. So horizontal or uh, with the slope. Linear equation, the one you guys always memorize is y equals mx plus b, but we're going to show some other formats of that today. Nonlinear function, not a line. Parabola, either positive or negative. Intercept, we have these two. X-intercept is on the x-axis. Y-intercept is on the y-axis. Line of symmetry, line of line symmetry, point symmetry, point of, we're not going to be doing. But we do know symmetric, my favorite symmetric animal, insect is a butterfly, even though that one has a hurt wing. The last we're going to do are even functions. This is an even degree. I'm going to go over that today. And this is an odd degree. OK, so let's jump into a linear function. I have the light on, so it may reflect a little. But y equals mx plus b, which is f of x is function notation. That just says it's a function. But this, you may see it like this, where a, b, and c are numbers. And this is standard notation of a line. Nonlinear function is not a straight line. It could be a curve, could be dots, could be different things. A parabola is a quadratic function. A parabola, standard form, standard, yeah, we actually see standard form, not notation. Standard form of a parabola is ax squared plus bx plus c. It is also a function, so you may use function of x. And it is called quadratic because it is squared. OK, so. I'm going to teach you about degree. So write in degree right here. Degree is the highest power of x. Usually we have our functions written as y equals or a function of x, which means x is the variable that we use in the equation. And you just look for the highest power, and that's your degree. Let me show you an example. This is our first one. They're asking, is it linear? Well, this is the same as 1 3rd 6x minus 5. We could also distribute the 1 3rd 2x minus 5 thirds. Now, the book is saying if you could write it in y equals mx plus b form, then it is a function. What I want you to get used to looking is at the degree, because we're going to be revisiting degree all year. So. Degree is, this is my function, x has a power of 1. Linear, yes, because degree equals 1. Okay, that's why this is linear. You don't have to even rewrite it to do that. You just look at the power of x. That's a giant 1, but there's usually not a 1 for x, but um, that's your degree. So looking at this, our highest power is 3. So it is nonlinear because it is not a 1. The degree equals 3. And just so you know, three dimensions is cube. A polynomial with a third degree is cubic. OK. Second degree is quadratic. Third degree is cubic. Other than that, we just say polynomial. All right. Oops, I didn't realize it was stapled. Let's go on. Page 14. So is this linear or nonlinear? Well, it's two straight lines put together. It is nonlinear. 
this, just so you know, the parent graph before it moves and flips and stuff is the absolute value of x. So I know that x has a power of 1, but since you take the absolute value of it, it is nonlinear. Another one that is nonlinear is this example right here. Looking at the x, it is tied with that 2, but it's in the square root. So this is nonlinear because x is not just x by itself of, with a power of 1. This one pretty obvious? Yes, it is linear. OK, so linear could be horizontal, vertical, or on a slope. Those are linear. Now, is it a function? This is the only one that's not a function. But this is a function, yes. And this is a function. OK. Michaela started working part time at a hardware store. Here's her earnings and the weeks that she worked. So is this linear? You could do it by graphing, which is kind of hard because this is so small. So 185, 2, 119, 3, 153. 4, 187, I'm just estimating, 5, 221. Now, it's kind of hard to tell, but those dots should be linear. And my line should go through the dots. But if you cannot tell from the graph, what you could do are the differences. To go up, my x values, x values are always time, go up by 1. Now my y values, 119 minus 85 is 15 and 19, 34. 153 minus 119 is 34, 34, 34. I'm doing the difference, subtracting them. Since it goes up by the same amount there, goes up by the same amount on x, then it is a linear function. This is called the first I'm going to write it right here. Where can I write it? Right here. First difference. So you take the difference and it's going up and that's the first difference. It's also the slope, right? Change of y over change of x. If you were to not get the same thing every time, and you do it again for the second difference. If the second difference is all the same, then it's a quadratic. If you do it again, these are not the same, and you do it a third time, then it is cubic. OK? There are some examples here that are not quadratic or cubic, but they look like they are, but they're just not linear that we know. OK, let's get into x-intercepts and y-intercept. x-intercept crosses the x axis, oops, I wrote over, y-intercept crosses the y-axis. This one they gave you is the same point for both because it goes through the origin, 0, 0. So the x-intercept 0 and the y-intercept is 0 because that point right there is 0, 0. Let's talk about a polynomial. So a polynomial here, I have negative 3, negative 1, and 2. These are your x-intercepts. x-intercepts could also be roots, solutions, or zeros. If I say any of those word, words, that means the x-intercept. The y-intercept is an intercept, but it's on the y-axis. That one is 0 between 8 and 16 is 12. So as a y-intercept of 12, the y-intercept does not consider these words. The y-intercept is the y-intercept. But if I say any of these words, these all mean x-intercept. So you shouldn't group them together and say intercepts. You should label x-intercepts and y-intercept. Um, OK, let's get back into degree. So this is linear, so I know this is x to the first power. So I know that is a degree of 1. And 1 is odd. And when we're speaking of odd, we're talking of the degree 
and the ends. See how one end is going down and one end's going up? That end behavior is odd. So this one, I'm not sure of the degree. I know, I know actually it's x to the fourth, but you're not going to get there so quickly. But four is even. And the other way I know it is even degree is looking at these ends, they both go the same direction, which is different than this one that go opposite directions. These go the same direction. So when the ends go to the same direction, it's even. When the ends go opposite directions, like this one's going up, this one's going down, it is odd. So let's find the x and y intercepts and decide these are both odd. Now, we're going to add in something else. This is odd positive because the slope is increasing. We read left to right. This is also odd positive because this end is lower than that end. Okay, just these two are odd positive. The x-intercepts on this one, I'm going to do this and then go back, is negative 4, negative 2, 0, 3, 5. The y-intercept is 0. The x-intercept is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5. The y-intercept is 2. So just a note over here, your x-intercept is a number and 0. If you need to write it as a coordinate point, make sure and follow directions. If it asks for a coordinate point, you have to write the x and the y values. The y-intercept is 0 and a number. Okay, number page number 16. So looking at this table, this is Ricardo launches a rocket from a balcony. The table shows the height of the rocket after each second of its flight. Here is my x. x is always time. x is independent. Now, my height is 15, so this is my y-intercept. So y-intercept when x is 0 is 15, so my y-intercept is 15. My x-intercept is when y is 0, so when y is 0, my x is 8, so my x-intercept is 8 seconds. What does this mean? The x-intercept is the time the rocket is launched and returns to the ground. So I'm going to write eight seconds there. So launch at zero, lands back on the ground at eight. The y-intercept is the height. I'm going to put 15 feet from which the rocket is launched. So it has a starting height of 15, goes up, and then goes back down. We're not going to do the different types of symmetry, so you don't need these. But I do want you to look at this example. We don't need this. Do look at this example because with parabolas, one part of a parabola that you need to know is the center. We're going to go over more parabolas. This is the vertex. But the center uh, symmetry line, it's where I could fold the parabola and have the same on both sides. That is the AOS, which is axis of symmetry. We're going to be doing quadratics more later, but you do need to know that line. OK, page 17. Here we are getting into even and odd, and we'll do more of it. Again, they want you to plug in negative x for f of x. All you have to do. These two ends go the same direction. Oh, it's reflecting too. Um, so this is even. This is even positive because it is going up. This is even negative. Okay, both ends are going down. Now, these are parabolas, but if you had something like this, that's odd. Oh no, like this, that's even positive, okay, because both ends are going up. Sorry, I drew an odd one first. Now, this is odd. This is odd because one's going up, one's going down. 
I know this is odd positive because left to right, it goes lower to higher. So this is odd positive. Odd negative starts here, goes down like that. Odd means I have a power of one, three, five, seven, dot, dot, dot. So x, x cubed, x to the fifth, all, every odd number could be this ends. We're just looking at end behavior. This one, even, could be x squared, x to the fourth, x to the sixth, dot, 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 any number that is even. So we're not looking at symmetry, but I do want to talk about odd and even. So this is x to the one, so it is odd. It is positive because it's an increasing slope. This is even because they're both going down and that is even. It is negative because of that negative before the x squared or because both sides are going down. This is even, both sides are going up. Highest power is four. Three is positive, so it's even positive. And this is odd, coefficient there is one. So it's odd positive also. Also, you could look at that. Many things you could determine, use to determine odd or even. Odd or even could be the degree. It could be the end behavior. They are connected and mean the same thing. We are almost done. Page eight, six, 18. Okay, so right here, this three makes it odd. This, that there's a one in front, is positive. Looking at the equation or looking at the graph, that's odd positive because we're looking at this end and this end. This is highest power is four, so it's even. Two is positive. Also looking at the graph, both ends are going up, even positive. This one is odd positive because it's a one x cubed, so odd positive. Or you could look at the ends, the left side's lower, so it's increasing, reading it left to right, which is positive. All right, we're not doing this check. And that is it for lesson two. Your assignment is on page 19 and is number one through 18. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.